almost all my background. So how you doing? Um, yeah, not bad. I just woke up. <laughs> Supposed to be going to school, but it's uh, not that important right now. My class is pretty dumb. So I'm like, my suggestion again is just to you know, reiterate what we talked about, that uh, system is done. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. hello. Okay. How are you? I am good. Okay. Hi, Inova. We've never met. I'm, uh, yeah, hello. <laughs> I've seen your face a lot, of course, and uh, good to see you in person. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm not going to be able to talk too uh, loud, which will be a change. Um, Elijah knows about that uh, because it's late here. Um, and so I can't, I need to, you know, hush down. Um, so I... First of all, I want to thank you both for the um, for the, the work on the chat rooms. It's amazing, and and I hope it's going to be the uh, the tool that um, is going to you know change everything, <laughs> uh, <laughs> change the planet like you were um, wishing out. And then um, we've announced on the um, in the community in in the uh, in the courses that. Uh, there's a first chat room happening this week, but then we saw with the facilitators that, um, well, we warned the facilitators that for the moment uh, it might not be as ready as uh, we need it to be uh, so that people really get into it. So they've been instructed to temporize and, and you know, if they can't use the chat room this week or next week, it's not a huge problem for them. They will organize the uh, the conversations through the uh, the convo type value and and focus lens that we've given them in the lesson. Um, so there's no pressure here. Um, uh, or you know, I'm, I'm, this phone call is not about me uh, trying to um, impose anything on the the concept that you you are developing on the side. I just wanted to. Um, have a walkthrough or maybe uh, share my screen and, and show you the, the different obstacles that, that uh, um, I've been hitting uh, on, the, uh, on the path to preparing the chat rooms to eventually be used by those groups. Uh, would you be okay with that? Yep, I'll make you host. Yep. Beautiful. All right, so I'll share my screen here and then I'll... Let me see. I had, yeah. Let's share that. And then I will go to, sorry about that. I will go to the first thing, which is the, the coordinator, um, the, the uh, interface, right? So, um, so you've, you've sent the, uh, the original email to Jesse, which, um, hadn't realized that it was the uh, the platform administrator, so she actually logged in, and so now everything's under her name, even though she's not going to be uh, um, uh, you know uh, using the backend at all. Um, so that's the, the first thing; it's to her name. But I, I don't think it it is a problem. I can log in with her uh, with her uh, cord, and it's not a problem. So what I did is. Um, I, I the, so the first thing that I, I noticed on this page is that there's no way for me to log out. So uh, uh, basically, if um, I create a group for a, a test group, for example, with my own address as uh, administrator, then I need to go to another brother because there's no way for me to log out. And every time I'm going to go to planetaryguardian.net, I'm going to get on this page. So the only way for me would be to erase all my cookies, which I don't want to do because some of them are really useful to me. So that's the, the first thing I noted. Oh, there's no way for me to log out of this thing. Um, and then what I did is I created two groups. 
So one, I, the first group that I created was group seven, sacred in reality. And, and in there, I put my uh, Olivia Luciel foundation.com address and then uh, waited for the, um, for the email to actually get into my um, mailbox, which took two and a half hours. Uh, so in the meantime, what I did is I created another group with a Gmail address with the Luciel foundation uh, at Gmail address. And then I actually had a password and login within the next five minutes. So I don't know what's up with the, the, uh, the, the Yonos uh, servers, but uh, it, it takes a long, long time to actually uh, get the, uh, the login and the password. But anyway, um, so I, I logged in as, the, um, as an administrator with the Lucille Foundation at gmail.com and got this group active, okay? And what I uh, looked at being on this interface is that what I thought I could do is I could click on every group and then access the, uh, uh, as a platform administrator, I could access the actual groups and be, you know, the, the administrator as well. And since, um, like um, Elijah told you, Nova, on the tutorial that you did together, since um, we're, we're preparing uh, uh, all the missions for uh, the groups, we're not, we're not, the facilitators have asked us to not uh, have to do that because they don't have the time, because it's too complicated because uh, uh, they wanna be able to you know, host a chat room and not get into the technical side of it. So my problem here is that since I can't access the, the active groups directly through my platform administrator, then the only chance that I have is to create every group with me as an administrator, as a facilitator. Uh, uh, and then get the email address and then create the mission. But then I couldn't uh, pass over to the actual facilitator of the group. Uh, so I would have to set up a time where the chat room would begin. And then hopefully um, everyone would actually join the, the chat room uh, when they uh, um, are called uh, to. But the facilitator of the group, the real facilitator, wouldn't actually have access to the interface because the facilitator would have to be me so I can create the missions. Do you see my, the conundrum here? Um, so, so that's my first big issue, the fact that I need to be facilitator on every group to be able to implement the, uh, the mission. And then um, because as I, as I told you, I can't log out, then I need to go to another brother, which is Safari. <laughs> to show you the rest. Uh, so here I'm, I'm logged in on the, uh, the group 25 uh, with the uh, Lucille Foundation at jml.com as a facilitator, okay? And, and so I created, the, I created the first mission. Um, and of course, you know, I used everything. I, I added me as a member, which uh, is still not active because I, uh, I'm, uh, I didn't get the, um, the email um, on time, but that, that's not a problem. Uh, oh, I need to log in again. Why? I don't know. So let me get the, uh, the password is this one. Okay. And then Lucien Foundation at gmail.com. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so yeah, so first of all, the, um, the, I think the, the concept of having those seven steps is brilliant. We, we had talked about it with, with Elijah, um, of you know, having the, the actual uh, uh, one hour or two hour or three hour session, the way it was set up, uh, set up as seven different missions, we think it's brilliant. The thing is, is that this, those seven steps will actually be ready for the, the program in only four weeks. So what we had talked about with Elijah was to have two test missions, two chat rooms, 
on on week three and then on week five um and and um, and so i i said i told to myself well that's not a problem there's two different missions i will just create those step one and step two even though i don't know what the the, the tools within the chat rooms of step two three four five six and seven are that that's not really a problem uh, I could actually, you know, create those two first missions. But then when I created the, uh, the mission in itself, then I, I realized that it was um, more complicated than that. In the sense that for the moment, since the, the mission one is not complete, then you cannot create a mission two. You only override the same mission over and over uh, again. So that's my first problem. I couldn't actually, I would have to wait for them to complete the first mission in order to be able to create the second mission. Okay, but then if I create my first mission, uh, wait, sorry. Okay, so if I create, if I create, I'm not on my computer, I'm sorry about that. So the trackpad can uh, be a real uh, surprise sometimes. Okay, when I create my first mission, I have to, uh, uh, you know, type in a mission objective, which is limited to 50 characters, right? What we had discussed with Elijah is we would actually implement conversations for the teams, burning questions that they need to answer to be able to move forward. So there's absolutely, and the questions that we have are way more than 50 characters. So um, when I asked Elijah uh, on, the, uh, on, on the messenger, I said, wait, I see that you have to define an objective, but I don't see where you put the, uh, the burning questions, knowing that we've defined two burning questions for every mission. And then Elijah told me, yeah, but well, the facilitator can just, you know, type in the question as a first message. But my problem is, is that for every question, there's a different set of convo type, value, and focus lens. So my facilitator in the same chat room couldn't put the two burning questions because there's only one set of uh, uh, value. So whatever, if I put question one here, if, if by any chance you could actually unlock the number of characters and make it up to, I don't know, 200 or 250, so I can actually type a question there. I will type in my question and then put the, the mission uh, objective to maybe 13 days because that's what uh, uh, the, the groups have for every mission. And then when I need to type in my choices, so first of all, here's uh, what happens on my side is that I, I, I don't have fiber, uh, I, but I do have a, a, a pretty potent connection, but it's just taking forever to upload. Uh, but then whatever the, uh, the combo, the spell that I choose, it will be associated with only one question. And then I have no space to actually put the second burning question with a second set or a second spell uh, directly associated with it. So that's my second problem. So I, I thought to myself, well, that's not a problem. I'll just, you know, uh, uh, I'll just go through random right now, even though you can see that it's not, I don't know if it's a Mac issue uh, because we're all on Macintosh, or if it's just a connection issue, but it's it's um, it's not that fluid. Uh, but let me cancel them. What I thought to my and hopefully, yeah. so what I thought to myself, well, that's not a problem. I'll just create one mission with one burning question and one spell, and then a second mission with the, the second burning question and the second spell, but. I can't do that because there's only this, I can only create step one. So when I create my second burning question, it, it actually overrides the first one. Um, and so there's, there's for the moment, no possibility for uh, those groups to actually enter a chat room and address those two burning questions 
in the same chat room, but there is no possibility to actually have two in the same session go through two different missions to uh, acknowledge the two different questions and, and start answering them because we're blocked on, on step one. Does that make sense for the moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. Um, um, so, so either we have a possibility to um, get out of this seven step process that is implemented for the moment and keep it for what's gonna happen in four weeks. And then we just have the possibility to create two different missions or four different missions actually, two burning questions for week three and then two burning questions for week five. And then, and then people will get into those two chat rooms or those four chat rooms within those, the next four weeks and you know, interact to uh, answer the questions. Or we can only go with this seven step process and, and we can unlock the possibility to create a step two without the step one being um, uh, finalized. Uh, even though I totally understand that conceptually, step two is dependent on step one because you're taking some data from step one to inject into step two. I understand the structure and I think I, I'm just trying to determine with you guys if we can use uh, these chat rooms at all before we hit the seventh step uh, uh, phase in four weeks or if we can't. Uh, because for the moment, it doesn't, uh, it, it seems really, it seems impossible as it is set up for me to um, uh, have them have those groups use the chat rooms to answer two burning questions every two weeks. I, I guess, yeah, some, uh, some of the things we set up are different, different than that. Uh... I, I mean, I could fix a lot of that stuff right away. Um, you know, the lens has taken a long time to load. I can instead uh, implement like a, a bit of a loading screen at the start. So when you first log in, it, it'll load everything. Might take a minute or two, but then after that, when you go to change the lenses or the value cards, uh, it will it'll be very quick. Um, that's and great. The, you know, that's not a huge problem because it's on my side. I'm, I'll be the only one interacting with that. So. You know, if I okay, have to wait yeah. 15 minutes every time, and, uh, if it can be fixed, it's great. But that's uh, that's Low not the priority. Big, huge problem. Yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, I can change your email address to be the administrator. Uh, that would probably make things easier. And then I can attach the where you click on the groups. You can jump in as the facilitator. On this one, I can do so some things. So kind of, I click on group twenty-five and it's active. Then I would actually end up here. Yeah, yeah, I can set that up pretty easily. Great. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about the the other part, uh, the the more critical part with the questions and, and the multiple missions. Um, one thought I just had is, you know, and me and Elijah talked about it actually recently as well is yeah we could set it up so when you create that mission um uh it could ask you for for example instead of the mission objective or we could also keep the mission objective perhaps but we could change it so it's asked you for question one you determine three cards and then it asks you for question two and you determine the three cards again and then during the process of the chat room while it's well it's active um the facilitator perhaps or or you uh could click a button somewhere and have it change over to the next set of cards and the next question but the chat room remain in in step one for example or whatever step you're in um, we could set that up and then have it so you could select perhaps specify the number of missions on the step that you want to do so if you want to do four missions for, for step three then you could just put in four and it would ask you four times for the question and the cards. And then again, it, it, you'd be in this, during the chat room, you could advance it to the next question and cards, but still be in the same step, but four times. 
would that solve the the problem that problem do you think absolutely yeah it, it would totally solve the problem um now i think if i could um yeah that would totally solve the problem and i think if i could implement a step one with with you know two questions and then two weeks after that replace that's step one with two other questions so that we stay on step one and you don't have to change the whole structure. And, and, and uh, that would be enough for us. Uh, and then once we get into the seven step process, then, then we're on. You, I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even sure that we will need multiple questions in the seven step process. Maybe at this point, there will only be one question, one burning question for every step, or maybe there will only be one objective and the conversation will, will stay open and free without a, a specific question that I can't answer at the moment. But what you're suggesting would, yeah, totally do it uh, for the, the time being. Um, yeah, absolutely. And, and, and would, because you, what you're asking is the first two missions are kind of like starting missions. Then you want to start a new seven. Is that also yeah. one of the things? So that's in four in, weeks. In four weeks. So if we had series, because this is another thing of series one and series two of having like the first series is just two missions and it's just a, a quick, whatever it is, but then series two would be the full seven. Yeah. And then absolutely. that would, and that would solve this, the other problem, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Is we could set up um, these uh, these initial missions as just general missions, not you know step one or anything like that, and then exactly kind of remove the the step thing for now, and have that waiting in the background for for four weeks from now. Or... That's beautiful. That would be that that would be beautiful. And then and then um, another thing that would be super useful for me, but for the uh, the thing in four weeks is to know a little bit more um, when you have time to share about the different tools that you've in, implemented for the uh, the seven steps. Uh, yep. So that I so that the uh, those steps are made clearer to us and we can uh, adjust accordingly um, uh, with the uh, with the content. But yeah, for the for the next. So now we're. Thursday, right? So there's already one week that has gone. We're already uh, past one week. So um, I don't know how much time it would take you, Nova, to uh, make those changes. Um, but the if we want to brief everyone, maybe they could do that next week for the first mission. And then they would have, uh, so that would be week four. And then they would have the second mission on week five and week six. And then we would get, oh, well, maybe I'm mixing my weeks. You know, I think that's it. And then uh, we would get to the seven stages on week, at the end of week eight. Uh, I think that's the, uh, that's the thing. So, oh, there's a, <laughs> that's funny. There's a little gecko in the, uh, in the center of my, which is chasing a mosquito. Sorry about that. It's, it's always good to see a geiko. Um, uh, I, I have two recommendations too. Um, one is is yeah, if we for the seven st step mission series, if possible, if we could stick with just objectives, a hundred characters or less, that's kind of what we designed it for. Mm -hmm. I think that would be better in uh, to to not do the questions for that one. Yeah, just a suggestion. And then also, I don't know uh, uh, what you're planning, but if if uh, I, I had envisioned like the idea that the seven steps would, the last step would be the last week of the program and we could work it back seven weeks to there. So like people kind of get ready and get everything in place by the end of the, the actual. So, yeah, so the, the whole objective of the seven steps is to take, is to take the, the entire community through the, uh, the steps where they take their topics, individual vision for the city of the future. And the whole seven steps is taking there to, um, uh, a global holistic vision where they take all the visions together and, and they bring everything together to actually have a, um, a, a real global vision of what that city would be. 
Um, and so, yes, it does take us to the, uh, to the last week of the training program. And then we'll have two more weeks after that where uh, uh, we'll have formatting will happen and then we'll be at the symposium. Okay. So, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, it won't take me a, a long time to, to do this. Uh, when are you, like, when would be ideal for the first mission to happen? Well, the, the, uh, we were planning on, on it to, we were planning on groups start um, scheduling uh, the call together or the, the, the appointment to be on the chat room together last Wednesday, so uh, yesterday actually. Um, ah. But we've put everything on hold on the platform saying you're going to, you know, uh, you're going to receive emails with your passwords and logins in the upcoming days, but we weren't very clear about that. So anything, if that can, if we can communicate around it so that they get ready this weekend, that would be the best. Uh, and then they could actually set up the first mission anytime uh, next week um, so that they have that crucial discussion. If they could set it up at the, the beginning of the week, that'd be the best, but you know, uh, the difficulties for topics to actually set uh, uh, calls together that, that are not their Zoom calls. So. The, the, the earlier we can have them, the, the earlier we can actually type all the, in, the email addresses into the, uh, and create the groups so that they get their passwords and logins, the, 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 the best. Yeah. And I guess, yeah, like, um, so you're wanting to be the person to set up each of the group's missions yourself? Yeah. Okay, and then, but the but then the facilitators of those groups would still be, um, they would still be scheduling the missions. They would just uh, what I would do it is I would, I would actually open the missions straight as as I uh, uh, create the uh, as I created. I would open it up for X amount of days, but the administrator would still have access to the interface. Uh, to the, the backend interface in case, you know, something happens. And, and so I don't have to be on every phone call or, or, or right. on the chat room. So the administrator would not be me. I would actually create everything through the, the, the platform coordinator uh, account. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I guess one of the reasons we have the facilitator set all this up is, is so that you know, each of the team facilitators could actually add the 12 members themselves just to make it easier for you. Otherwise you have to add 144 people. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, so they could, and even, they could I, totally get, even I totally get the benefit of, of uh, giving the opportunity to the groups to use the chat rooms outside of the program to have, you know, uh, certain conversations. So I'm all up for uh, having facilitators uh, uh, be administrators of their own groups. It's just a setup thing. Our experience is that if we leave that to the, uh, the facilitators in the groups, they have a problem crunching time. And then, yeah. and then it, it doesn't happen as fast as it, as it could happen. It just takes days to actually implement. And there could be a lot of back and forth between uh, us and them so that they fully understand how to do everything, even though your tutorial was pretty clear, but they're always very clear to geek like us, you know, and then, and then you take facilitators uh, that are not that computer savvy, it's, it becomes a huge problem to set all, all that up. So I'd, we'd rather do it and, and give them something that is ready to go. Yeah, so, um, so you know, as soon as uh, as soon as I get some news from you and and, and confirmation that uh, uh, you you've managed to set up things uh, in a way that that would work for those two particular missions, then I can move forward, start creating groups, and then and then we'll uh, hopefully have people using the chat rooms next week, uh, if if, the, if that's feasible. So you have my email address, uh, Olivia at LeCielFoundation.com. I sent you an email, but most of our emails go into the spam box directly at first. So I don't know if you got it, or maybe you have one of my mails dated two days ago in your spam box, Nova. Um, but you do. Yeah, you that's do a have problem on our end too. It's so, sometimes when we send out 
the emails they might go to the spam too. Um, yeah, yeah. They, they, I mean, yeah. we we got accustomed to that, and even though we we did all the setups with Google and and on the server side, it doesn't change anything. So uh, we have all the certificates, but it just doesn't change much. So, you know, uh, you can send me an email anytime, tell me it's a go, I'll, I'll go and test it up. If I have a problem, I'll send you a feedback, uh, but I don't think so since uh, uh, what you told me was pretty straightforward and, and totally fits our needs for the moment. Um, and as soon as it's ready, boom, I'll create the groups. I'll take a day to do that. Um, and, then, um, and then we'll be uh, moving forward. Does that sound good to you guys? Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. Right. Did did uh, and then, and yeah, maybe uh, uh, I don't know how difficult that is to implement, but maybe a logout on the uh, on the uh, uh, coordinator uh, page that would be super useful, so that I don't have to go through two browsers. Uh, be amazing. Um, and and that's it for me. I'm I'm really grateful for the, this work and and. I really think it can be a, a great tool, I'm, I'm, and I'm grateful for the time you took to uh, be on this call with me today. All right. Great to see you, Olivier, and hopefully we get this going as soon as possible. Yeah, just keep me posted. All right, guys. Thank All you right. again. Good Have night, Olivier. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.